All right, so this is what I just weighed in, 162.4, 9.8% body fat is what it's telling me, and 46.9% muscle. And that is for week 36 weigh-in. That is a big drop from last. So from week 35, that is 0.4% body fat percent drop and 0.3% uh, muscle mass gain. So... I'll keep checking in. I'm probably gonna switch it up and just do this like every week, maybe, uh, until the next cleaner by the day episode. All right, what's going on, everybody? I don't know what number update this is on the mobile home. Pop the whole playlist up here. I've been doing uh, updates as we come along, but I'm not sure exactly the last time I showed up showed y'all it but it's come a long way since because i know we didn't i mean the uh molding up trim work up uh the ceiling wasn't blown or anything like that so uh a lot of progress since last time y'all seen it coming along really good very very proud of it here we go me and my dad still working on it got the walls painted i hadn't seen that it's my dad Got the covers up. The color I went with was called uh, Cream of My Coffee. See the windows casing, the molding. That'd be the kitchen area there. Got the lights up now. We gotta rewire that one over there. All the ceilings are blown, popcorn. All of them, all the molding. Looks a world of difference. Coming along really, really good. Got all the molding up there. We still got a little bit left to do with the molding. Put some up over there. That's where the refrigerator will be. Stove, kitchen. Just that case that makes a little world of difference. In the mold. Let's be the master bed. Yeah, and re-blow, re re-blown. And redid all these ceilings, re-blown them, re blew them. <laughs> I wanted past tense of blow. Yeah, re-blown them. There we go. So, so no, since last time, case it out, molding. Put all these up. Uh, just did all the caulking today. All the caulking up here. Like they're closing all the cracks. And lights are up. Like I said, all the ceilings have been blown. I mean, it's looking really, really good now. This ceiling. This light. It's coming along really good. Bathroom. And the floors I'm gonna be putting in here are gonna be uh it's gonna be brown, like linoleum, hardwood looking floors. Bathroom. Trying to get a view for maybe you now potentially. You now when we come back and redo it, how it's gonna look. Before and after shots. Neighbor walked over, close out these lights. And then I'll go back and show you all the other two bedrooms. Close these out. What's going on, Mr. Bruce? We, uh, yeah, I told you, I'm going to move in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Got the hall. The first bedroom. Again, we got these blown. These ceilings, what? We completely tore these ceilings out and uh, completely, you know, re blew them with the popcorn. The closet in there. I'm getting this corner. 
Now we still have to do a little bit of touching up on the uh, the walls and some of the paint and stuff, but I mean, it's it's cosmetically the uh, I mean we caulked the whole house today, so the caulking's completely done. Cosmetically, it's coming. Uh, aesthetically, cosmetically, whatever you want to call it, it's come a long way since the last update in these past few weeks. We're making great progress on that. It's really starting to form together. Still a ton to do, but like I said, it's, it's constantly progressing, so it's not a vanity. Got some of the covers still gotta, so well, we got this covers up. Okay, still gotta put that fan up. But yep, yeah, so for this will be the second bath in the back end of the house. Maybe a little before and after shot here of the vanity and the tub action, the toilet action. All right, that's it for that. Coming to the last bedroom here. And then we got another little closet here. I'll show y'all here. I believe this is the, the second biggest room. The master is obviously the biggest. And then that last room I just showed you is the smallest, and this is the next biggest. So, gotta finish putting in that for the uh, closet there. But that is it for this mobile home renovation update. You can go look at how it first looked in the first video. Um, I, mean, I really even got videos too, and it's called the vlog, called my first house vlog, I'll plot it up here. Um, I went and showed it like when it was sitting on the other property, and then I show it here as well, like uh, the black mold and everything. It's, it's, it's not even the same trailer, you know what I'm saying? Um, completely hold it out, show it, but it's, it's coming along really, really nicely. I said the mold like it's just it's coming together so good now. Uh, slow and steady though, slow and steady. I mean we're steady with it, but it's just stuff takes really really long. It's my first time ever like working on stuff and so like in the this kind of work. Very, very time consuming, very slow going, but uh, you yeah, know, once it's done, definitely gonna be worth it. Alright, see y'all in the next update, see y'all in the next video, next clip, whatever I do with this clip, see y'all in the next one. Please like the video, it really helps the channel. Uh, helps me grow, helps me get out there, helps me reach more people, helps me be recommended to more people. I'm trying to grow the channel. All right, everybody. Peace out. All right, everybody. So starting this project today is something I've been really wanting to do. Clean all this clutter up. Um, when I can get online orders and stuff, I need a blank shirt. I don't know really what I got because, I mean, I'm just sort of hanging them. But you'll see. And this isn't going to get done in one day by any means. But just look at all this, these boxes, cluttered shirts, just stacked, stacked, stacked. Some under here too, just stacked, 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 all stacked under there. All these are just boxes full stacked of shirts, just blanks. Boxes literally sitting on top of boxes, up on top of boxes, up under boxes. Just, I mean, just tons and tons of shirts. So, even got stuff up there. So, um, you see, went bought 322 hangers. Probably won't be enough, but it would be enough to get me started for sure. And I had another big stack. So what I'm doing, first thing, you know, just basically scan this room. And then I'm like, well, I gotta hang the, and I'm just gonna hang all this stuff up. I got a room and then I'm gonna, I got a, multiple rooms I hang the stuff up in, but I'm gonna clean everything up. I don't have my vlogging camera on me right this second, but, uh, you know, for the next updates I will. I was just thinking about it. Eh, I might as well update it because it's gonna look insanely different be a lot lot cleaner so it'll give me a lot more room in here to work with and again it'll be a lot more efficient because i'll be able to go and everything will be hanging on a rack i can go to for example my reds all my red shirts that are short sleeve go through those okay this is what i got in these sizes so go to my red long sleeves or you know, for right now i'm just stacking everything out in short sleeves everything out in long sleeves everything out in hoodies and then i'll go through and eventually color code them and then put everything in a, a size order as well all right that's what i'm doing um, so I'm just gonna 
it's going to take me a long time, but not shooting to get everything done today, but I'm going to get as much as I can done today and uh, every day forward, basically. Got 2.30 on the bar again. I'm cutting, so I'm going to try to always keep 30 on the bar as long as possible until I start bulking and then I start upping the weights. Uh, once I get my reps back, but I'm going to throw off the shirt, monitor the strength, monitor the physique. See where the abs and everything are at. I'm starting to get lean now. Gonna get shredded. Gonna get as lean as I've ever been this cut. So see how the back's looking as I'm working. Hopefully my hair. I don't have my hair tied, so hopefully my hair won't fall. Won't be in the way. I can for sure keep going. Uh, I generally don't like doing those long pauses in between. Uh, gonna call it there. Uh, plenty great stimulation. Lower back feels 100% good. Grips getting good stimulated. Uh, again, uh, lower back. That's one thing you really gotta monitor is lower back fatigue. Like, uh, you know, do some standing rows as well. In those days I have to space, especially deadlifts out and there's some uh, squats as well. I've done that for like, I felt like cutting my reps in half because my lower back just fatigued so fast. From this. So, gotta make sure that's recovered. But again, today, I probably, I know I could 100% got another one. Uh, maybe one after that, but uh, deadlift, I say is the number one exercise for, you do not sacrifice form. Literally zero percent, and I'm going to start my timer. But why is that? That's because <laughs> it's basically the biggest risk of injuring yourself comes from a deadlift, from injuring your lower back. So even though lower back felt great, I don't ever want to do. I'm not going to say too many reps. I don't want to do any reps where I'm like really grinding that much. Uh, I always say if you feel your form break down, any, not one percent, but 0.1%. Feel it break down any, you drop the weight on the deadlift. Second most important exercise for you know injuring yourself, like risk injury is squats. That doesn't mean avoid them because you can get injured from them. It means do them correctly, just like every other exercise, and you'll stay healthy. So uh, see how the back's looking right here. Get some flexing in. And uh, last time, I forget if I just got six just now. Last time I got six, but with one pause after the fifth rep. So I did the fifth rep, pause, did another one. This time I paused twice, so, you know, it's down, but still feels great. Now what I will do, I'm gonna drop the weight, and then uh, I'm gonna do two more sets. I'm gonna drop the weight, about 10% each set. <laughs> sets so stoked man to get lane I mean lane I'm going to get a quad update. Uh, there were some people in the gym. I don't want to be dropping my pants while they're in the gym. Uh, just for the fact I don't want them thinking they can really be doing that or should be doing that. Um, I just do it basically, you know, when there's nobody here since basically my gym. You know what I'm saying? So I've been warming up a little bit on uh, calves, but still, 
nice quad pump going. Thickness of the leg, really, from the side there. The hammies, the girth on it. All right, everybody, still warm up for calves. If you want to see full, I do, you know, on leg days, I'll do like a leg update or upper body, do upper body. But if you want, like, a, I've been splitting up full body, upper body just because I'm in the gym so long. Like, I'm in the gym about three hours for leg days, sometimes four. Uh, four to five for upper bodies and I'm just doing so much volume like hitting everything and uh, make sure I'm doing resting good between sets and stuff but um, if you want a full physique update meaning I'm just in like short shorts and I'm posing everything at the same time you know uh, send my uh, uh, physique full those would be my physique update playlist but you have to look for the full or complete physique updates. I'm not sure exactly what I'm titling, but those are the ones where I do about every five pounds down, either bulking or cutting it on my cut. I've been doing about every five pounds down. I'm doing a complete full physique update to really monitor my physique and uh, you know, see how the progress is coming. All right, getting in uh, two sets of calves and then uh, stretches and heading out. Pushing 250 this top set. as good as a calf man calf raise probably just stay at 250 for one more set get these fans cut off a uh, guy came in after me cut the fans on he's already gone but you know somebody comes in wants a fan on them cut the fans on but I personally like lifting with no fans to get my sweat on it's a very healthy process to sweat uh, you know, sweat out a lot of toxins. But what you want to make sure you do is replace that sodium is majority of what you sweat. So you want to make sure you replace that sodium and potassium, but sodium mostly because that's mostly what you sweat is sodium uh, with healthy sources. Some pink Himalayan sea salt, some Celtic sea salt, some you know, saying, not, not some you know, pop tart sodium. All right, one more set and I'm stretching. I'll just show y'all, I'll just pop this video up here, my lower body stretching routine there. And that's going to be it for this clip, this video. I don't know if it's going to be a vlog, a day vlog, it's a regular vlog, a single clip. I don't know. I figure that out once I go back for a lot of my videos, um, how I'm going to break them up and stuff. I will take that. Oh, get ripped, kid. Victory. I'll take that. This I'll do it by the way. Game over. Ah, let's Victory. go.